Hello everyone, this is Budget Jakul, and you're currently watching my tutorial video on how to draw feet and shoes, as requested by Luma51964, Stelle Maria, Shane Green, Yellowfoot273, No Bubble, and Sheik927. <laughs> it's a lot of people, thanks for requesting. Um, this video is actually recorded simultaneously alongside another video of how to draw legs. I'll put the description of that below and in an annotation over there. Or I'll put the link of that, not the description. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, uh, I'll just draw the uh, base sketches, which we'll put the feet on. And I'll see you after that. Right, see ya. And we're back. As you can see, I have drawn five different poses of the same character. For now, we will start on the profile view. Now, first thing is length of the foot. I like to have the foot be about as long as half of the distance between the knee and the ankle. Actually, a little bit more. So let's go from there. Boop, boop. Right there should be where the toes end up a little closer actually since we have such small ankles so here's the ball of the ankle um main things that i like to pay attention to in a foot are the toes the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot from here all you have to really do is just connect the circles Make sure that you start fairly high from the ball of the ankle. Go all the way down to the top of the foot. To the top of the ball of the foot, I mean. And then, yep, connect those. Normally, there would be an arch in the foot, but since we're seeing the outside of this uh, particular foot in this position, it will be fairly flat. And actually, in this position, the toes are visible. So I'll just kind of box them out like that. And yeah, that is the profile of the foot. The other one will be here. In this uh, back view, could actually be able to see the arch in the foot but since it's covered with the other one that'll be for another position all right i'll see you after i draw the legs for this one all right all right now we have legs for this lady and time to add feet now for this front on view it's a good idea to know the general shape of a foot and that is about this don't quote me on it and don't uh don't use this as reference go google a foot or something because oh gosh that was it's actually the worst one i've drawn so far whatever okay so that's about the you know shape of the foot now just remember this, this, and that. Those are the main curves that we'll be paying attention to here. Her feet will be going out a little bit. This is vertical, this is slanting, and hint at the ball of the foot right there, or the heel of the foot. And now the ball of the foot will be right here. That's that. And the slant of the toes is right there. 
Um, oh my gosh! Same thing was happening the last video. Getting texted. By who? Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, that's just a general foot shape. Ooh, that one was gross. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay. And, you know, if you want to distinguish the feet, I usually have shoes or socks on my characters, so I don't draw toes too often. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll see you on the next pose. Now here we have our kneeling and crouching position. Both are fairly similar. Oh, I guess the legs are similar. The feet really aren't. Oh, I guess they kind of are. But anyway, we're grouping them together. We'll do those in a row. So we've already drawn the legs for this one. And that means the feet will be kind of flattened out by your own weight which means fairly smooth line from the shin to the top of the foot but it also means that the heel of the foot sticks up a good bit, good bit. <laughs> and there once again this is the outside of the foot which means we see the underside of all this stuff. Look, toes! <laughs> oh, that's a bit weird. Anywho, that's what that turns out to be. If you want to think about surfaces, this is the bottom of the foot. And now comes a different part, which I don't know if it's in the leg section or the foot section, but we'll just kind of have the butt be pressed up by the knee of the foot. This is a kind of happy medium between it because, you know, when you kneel down on your own foot, it kind of squishes things. <laughs> ah, I'm tired, but still immature, so there's that. Yay! Foot butt. Okay, next foot. This one, fairly similar. There's a nice smooth line between those. Heel digs into the butt a bit. Go here. But, at this point, ball of the foot, we bend up. And... That's where that is. Remember that this is a surface. Here are the toes. And I guess technically she has two feet. I could draw the other one behind. But yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> same thing with the other. Or same thing as the other. Just kind of suggest that it's being pushed out of the way and erase what got absorbed into the butt section. Alright, time for Pigeon Toad Girl. Right, see you then. And lastly we have the Pigeon Toad feet. Alrighty, let us do these. Now, the main thing about Pigeon Toad is they have to be pointing at each other, ish. You know, not outwards like these two. Um, make sure you emphasize the ankles, balls of the ankles, kind of. That helps uh, ground everything, make sure that your feet don't go crazy, turn into a weird block of weirdness. <sighs> Talking is hard. <laughs> and, uh, yep, that is one foot. The other foot is over here. And, 
as the other foot. Main thing about feet is just remember to have this triangle in there. That's necessity for feet. And uh, yeah, just keep proportions around. Make sure you have your big toe in the middle. Remember the big toe is the furthest point in the foot. Whoop, 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 whatever this is. <laughs> look, look at the little toes. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's it for feet. Time to do shoes. Actually, like right now. Alright, it is time to finish up this video with lots of footwear. Alright. <laughs> so we will start off this lady with boots. So just remember that things just kind of stay away from the skin. Um, uh, these are fabric, fabricy boots. So they'll have little crumply spots, wrinkles, just uh, at joints. I think I drew her foot a bit too long, so I'm gonna cut off her toe right there. And uh, yeah, that's that. Now put on the what is this? The bottom, the rubber part of the shoe. He gets to have a little heel. And yeah, that's how you block off the shoe. Make it look all footy. We can make a seam run down the middle. Actually make that so we can put some laces on it. And that's it for that boot. Let's go on to sneakers over here. We have a fairly big flap. I don't know what it is about them, but I like it. Oh, gross. Uh, let's move this down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Racing against the clock right now. <laughs> I only got 15 minutes, so... There's that. Follow the general shape. Block off the toes a bit because sneakers do that. I have a little lip right here so that the rubber part go right there. And that is a sneaker. Yay! Oh, just kidding. Yay! Next is the best one of all, socks. Um, sneakers 2.0. And now, last and maybe fastest, we're gonna have zippery boots. And but yeah, this is pretty much the same as all the other ones. All right. Uh, I'll just time lapse the rest of the drawing. This is Budget Are Cool. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I hope I covered everything. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is Budget Are Cool. Thanks for watching and take care.